Hey, welcome back to my channel. It is uh, Views by Usher with uh, amazing Grace and Vigils as well. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, learning myself because I've been Sony all my life and he's been Canon all his life and I want to know what the difference and what sort of similar cameras are in Canon towards Sony. So in case you're wondering between the difference of them that you can at least compare similar products because I know for myself I don't know a lot about Canon products or even Sony products that matter. So it's just a little bit about information and uh, learning what's out there. So with uh, just starting out with what both of us have, so we get a little bit of sense of what's going on. I have the uh, Sony A6000 with the 35 millimeter uh, 1.4 Sigma as one of my lenses and cameras. And then the next one is my sports, which is an A7 with 7200 F4. And uh, that's currently what I'm using for everything at the moment um, for most of my stuff. Yeah, and currently I, as I said, I use the Canon R and I've got the 35 millimeter f1.8 on the body right now. I've got my Canon 24105 kit lens, which I need to get rid of at some point, <laughs> and my 85 f1.4 by Samyang. Awesome. So to start out with, um, I have the A6000 here, which is what I've been using when I started out with, which is um, on Sony's website, starting around $600 for just the body and then the Sigma lens is around $400. So what do you think would be a similar to the A6000? Uh, I think similar to the A6000, let me see if I can pull it up, would probably be the uh, Canon EOS M50. Okay. So it's a micro four thirds camera as yep. opposed to a, I think it's APS-C. APS yeah. Yeah. Um, but it would be equivalent. I don't know how much the, the cost is. Let me just see really quickly here. Because sometimes it's hard to know by just by cost if it's the same, because some, because the biggest thing is that Sony's been doing mirrorless a lot longer because no one was getting into it, but Canon has like 30 years of DSLR experience and Sony hasn't done any DSLRs. So it's always interesting to find the difference between Sony and Canon. This is why I wanted to do this video to kind of bring them together to see what was the, not definitely what's better or what's worse. Um, it's more just a question of what is similar out there just in case you're looking for cameras. Yeah. So the, uh, M50 yeah. is currently going for $750. Yeah. And that comes with the uh, body and oh. the 15 to 45 f3.5 to 6.3. Right. With image stabilization. So for me, I forgot. So similarly with that, with the Sony and the 16 to 50 power zoom kit lens, it comes around $700. So very similar together with that sort of thing. I think honestly, the. Uh, a6000 would be a better camera in yeah. comparison to the M50 because yeah. it has a bigger sensor. APS-C is much bigger than Micro Four Thirds. Um, it lets in more light. There's more uh, more light and more data coming into the sensor for low light situations or just better resolution in general. Yep. So yeah, that's the that's a good starter one for most people. I also have a grip on it as well if you're wondering why it looks so much bigger, but it's typically really nice and small and compact for most people that want to do travel stuff or starting out with things. Um, now the next lens, just to see, is the a7, which is a full frame lens, and it has my full frame sport lens on it, which is what I do for most of my sports, 7200 f4. Um, so yeah, what do you think would be a comparable to the full frame one? Mm. So I'm not overly familiar with the uh, a7 II, but I think because Canon has only recently in the last two years started doing full frame mirrorless, it would either be the uh, or even or even the DSLR. Like, what would be what would you think be a uh, like just just something that would be similar? So if someone was looking at like, oh, I have this much money, I wonder what would be similar in Canon. Not necessarily has to be mirrorless. It's more just what's just similar. This is more like a like a like product trying to figure out what we can do for products. So that's A7, because I'm really unaware of all the Canon stuff, and you're really unaware of the Sony stuff. So it's more of just bringing it together to see what's there. It's weird, on here they only have the A7. They have the A7 for 1100, or 1300 with the 28 to 70 kit lens. So that would be just one below this, but obviously this, this lens we have here is around $1,800 at Henry's, I believe. I bought it for 14, so probably, probably then 1500 for the body and then 1800 for the lens. What would be even price-wise similar to that? doesn't matter if it's mirrorless or not. Price-wise similar for a similar quality, I would honestly go with the EOS RP, yeah. which is kind of the, it's the same as the R with a few of the 
uh, bells and whistles taken out. Yeah. Uh, that runs for about, I think it's $12.99 before tax, just the body. And with the uh, 24 to 105 kit lens, I believe it's around $15.99. Looking to buy simple setups like we're doing here. I mean, not simple, but like, I think I have a starter, a good starter setup. For, for comparison, the difference between Canon and Sony, this is kind of what you can look up. Um, I'll try to put some links below to see where you can just look at them and purchase them yourself. But I hope this helps out a little bit of thing about difference between Canon and Sony for pricing wise and how they can relate. Um, other than that, if you have any questions or things you want us to review between Canon and Sony, just uh, stay down below. Otherwise, I'll link uh, your channel uh, down below as well just to make sure everyone can go follow his stuff as well because we're planning on doing a lot of videos together. Um, we're, uh, what is it called? Quarantine buddies? What yeah. are we, bubble bubble buddies, buddies. Bubble buddies at this point because if you're watching this, anybody, anything but 2020, it's a weird time. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. If you could like and subscribe, help us out. You can follow his channel and my channel and all of our stuff on there. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Later. <laughs> that works so well. <laughs>